Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. Look who is here. Taylor Parker, president of Concept by Iowa Hearing, joining us. Great to see you again, sir. Great to be back. We learn so much when you come and yeah. visit us to talk about hearing and the relationship to hearing and mental health. Yeah. And this is something, everybody, uh, please stop what you're doing because you're going to want to pay attention to this, especially you're going to want to be able to hear what we are saying. Yeah, it's the ability to, um, you know, hear in a noisy situation, hear speech, you know, basically how we communicate is through speech. So we have to be able to hear it, but also process it. And this is really what we're talking about today is processing speech in a noisy situation, not just hearing it. You know, a hearing loss, typically what happens is you can hear, but you can't understand. It's the ability to comprehend what is being said. And you know, we've talked many times about dementia. We've talked about, you know, um, balance and gait. You know, the, mm -hmm. the issue, the, the areas of the brain that get robbed when you have an untreated hearing loss. Your brain has to compensate because it can't process, you know, with an untreated hearing loss, it can't process that information. So it has to pull resources from other areas. Uh, cognitive is part, which is how we process and then balance and gait, how we, you know, walk, how we stand, how we, you know, get up from chairs, things like that. So what we're talking about here is really that cognitive portion. So when that, when the cognitive portion of your brain gets, you know, robbed of those resources to compensate, to focus on that untreated hearing loss, it's the ability to process information in a noisier situation. It's not so much one-on-one, -on -one, you know, like right now it's quiet in here. Right. But if we were to add a bunch of people or add more things going on, it would be harder if I had an untreated hearing loss to process that information. And these studies are showing, this study was done by Oxford University, okay. up to 91% risk of dementia for those that can't process speech in a noisy situation. So it's a, it's a big number. So they're just hearing noise uh, is what we're talking about. It's and just a bunch of confusion. A bunch of, and, and they're trying to pull out the, the speech portion of the noise. And, and this is what we're talking about, draining from the other sources. Oh, 100%. It's, yeah. you know, you think about, you know, when you're somewhere where it's really noisy. And, you know, everybody has these situations. It's where it happens all the time. You know, a one-off. You know, I've been places, I have normal hearing. I've been places where it's hard, you know, sometimes to hear. But... I can still I can still get through it, but when I get done, I feel drained. I feel a little tired. You know, you feel you feel like you worked, and this is what's going on for people with an untreated hearing loss all the time. They are struggling, and it's it's harder and harder for them to process that information. And this study looked at age 60 and above. Okay. So it didn't look at 80 year old individuals. It's this study looked at age 60 and above. That's a lot of people in the wheelhouse that are watching right I'm now. Riding, I'm riding, I'm, I'm, I'm almost, in there too. Yeah. I'm, in that, I'm in that group. So it's, it's really something that we have to take serious that we can't put off on the side and say, oh, I'll do it when I get older. Or, oh, I'll do it later in life. You know, this study looked at 60 and above and found that up to 91% increased risk of dementia, but with you know the inability to process speech oh in a noisier situation. So, what can be done if uh, you realize that this isn't going to be an issue? Because if this is an issue, you need to have this corrected. Oh, 100 percent. And you know, just noticing if you struggle to, you know, you can hear but you can't understand. That's you know, that's a big piece of it. Um, if you struggle in noisier situations or even you know, smaller situations, maybe you know, four, six, eight people, um, where there's multiple things going on, you find yourself struggling in those situations, um, it's a good idea to get your hearing checked um, and really find out you know, where you're at. And one of the tests that we do, we can actually give you, it takes about two minutes. Um, it's a test that will uh, show um, if we treat you with hearing devices, if you have a hearing loss, if we treat you with hearing devices, how well you will do in noisier situations. And it's a test that's very simple and very easy, but it gives us a lot of information because the longer you wait, the harder it is and your brain doesn't, you know, retrain, it doesn't wow. reform. So, you know, once, once your brain is in, is in that state, it can't be you know, retrained, okay. it's, it's in that state. So we wanna catch your hearing loss, the earlier the better, especially the cognitive portion, 
We want to catch that at the earliest because sometimes it's just providing that clarity per se um, versus, you know, someone who has cognitive issues and things that, right. you know, it's going to be harder and harder. How do for we us get a hold of you so we can get the free hearing test? Uh, 15 locations across the state. Um, IowaHearing.com is a good way to go. Um, you can book your, your hearing test right on our website. Choose the location. Get and your hearing test. It's a free hearing screening, so that's, you know, it's a big thing to do. It's a big thing. Big step, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you hey, so much. Great hopefully to see you. Hopefully you learned something here, and hopefully you're going to have the great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow on Iowa Live.